What it do, everybody? What's up? What's up, man? We just got done with the first episode. We on to the second episode of the night. It is an amazing night out tonight. I don't know about y'all, but that eerie feeling right before a storm hits is probably one of the best feelings you can get. It's windy. It ain't a cold wind. It ain't a hot wind. Just like right in between. It's perfect weather. Perfect temperature for the wind. And you can just smell the rain that's coming. I don't know if y'all like that too or not, but man, I love me a, I love me a good storm. I love me a good storm. <clears throat> it's very relaxing, very peaceful, very calming too. I'll never forget one time there was a tornado that was rotating right above the house that I lived at at the time. It was an F5 tornado, one of the biggest tornadoes. And it's just like, dang, man. It came so close to touching down that it wasn't even funny. It came so close to touching down. What's good, Michael? Appreciate you for tapping in, man. I ain't seen you up here in a minute. Um, but, man, it's just that feeling of right before a storm hits that's, uh, I don't know, man. It just gives you the butterflies. Like, yeah, we about to get a good storm. I like listening to the wind. I like listening to the rain, the thunder. I like seeing the lightning, all that stuff, man. It's it's uh, it's very relaxing. It's very peaceful. I don't know if y'all remember or not, but it used to rain all the time in my in my my other lives. And oh yeah, I just seen a nice, I just seen a nice lightning bolt off to my side. It's gonna be a good, hopefully it's gonna be a good storm tonight, man. I love me a good storm. But anyways, let me know how you guys' day is going down there in the comments below. Whether it's been a good day, bad day, productive day, entertaining day. Uh, whatever the case may be, we can talk about it. We can not talk about it. don't matter to me. Also, let me know where you guys are tapping in from so I can shout out your country, your state, or your city. I always thought it was interesting. What can I be on different parts of the world and still tapping in the same program at the same time? <clears throat> Technology has given us a way to connect even closer on a global scale. Without actually being next to each other, man, it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Good day. Hey, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Glad you had a good day. Uh, it's a it's a blessing and a curse at the same time, man. It's a blessing because it gives you the ability the ability ability. I guess I guess ability is a new word, but no, it gives us the ability to connect with people who truly are in need of help. You know that is the blessing part. The curse is you you can end up talking to somebody. You know they people lie all the time. Somebody lie about their age, on this age, but they're really way older than that. Next thing you know, you got uh, you got somebody who's posing as a kid trying to get you to do some things with them, you know, which is very disgusting. Or you got somebody posing as a kid trying to set you up to take you away. That's the curse part about the internet. Everything in life is a double-edged sword. You just have to pick and choose which edge you want to use that's that's how it is you got to pick and choose what edge you want to use in life whether you want to use the good edge or the bad edge it's completely up to you man but hey we're gonna go ahead and get on with this uh this this next topic uh just because you take an l does not mean that you're supposed to give up and y'all can probably hear the wind right now as it's blowing my car around but yeah uh hold on i gotta sneeze y'all give me just a minute <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Just because you just because you take an L uh, in life, whatever you're trying to do, does not mean that you are supposed to give up. And tonight was a very good reminder of that. You know, I won't say tonight, but today, in general, watching Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury, seeing as how Jake Paul lost, I was hoping that he would have won. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Uh, he lost, and. That's how it is. That's what happened. That was the outcome. And he accepted it, you know. Uh, he was cool with taking the L. You know, taking the L doesn't necessarily mean that you take a loss. Taking an L, you, it also means you take a lesson. You learn a lesson. Uh, and the lesson that he learned is that he needs to train more, work harder, and uh, come back stronger. And that's exactly what he said he's going to do. He said he's going to go home, he's going to train more, he's going to work harder, and he's going to come back stronger. And that's what you got to do when you take an L, whether it be the lesson or the loss. 
you got to take it as okay. This is this is what happened. So I need to go home and, and figure this out and how to get around it, and come back even stronger. A lot of people get discouraged and taking the L, but they end up picking up their ball and going home. Instead of figuring out how to get around it, they give up, you know, and their dreams burn to ashes while they're trying to build it up. And the reason why is because they don't have the will to endure the suffering required to make their dreams come true. They was expecting to get it all one shot. That's not how it works. You can't achieve your dreams and your goals in the first shot, you are going to fail, you are going to take a loss, you are going to hit roadblocks, you are going to hit a lot of stuff in life, that's just how it is, you know, you learn from failing, I remember I used to be like that, I just fight through whatever now, that's facts man, you, you gotta fight through whatever, you know, you gotta, you gotta take the L, whether it be the lesson or the loss, or both, and you gotta apply it to your, uh, <laughs> You got to uh, apply it to what it is that you're trying to do. It's like uh, it's like fixing a patch. It's like fixing a hole in the wall. The hole is the is the uh, the thing that you was trying to do that failed. So you take that L that you got, and you put it over the wall, and now you patch the wall with the L, with the lesson of the loss. It, it's as simple as that. You got to learn how to get around what it is that you failed on and the only way you learn is by failing and saying okay this is what I did wrong I can't do this anymore so I'm going to try this and if it doesn't work well I know that doesn't work so put that off to the side I'm going to try this over here and if that don't work same thing and you keep going until you find something that works you find something that will patch the hole uh a lot of people, they give up on trying to patch that hole because they think it ain't never going to patch because all the mother patches keep coming off. That ain't the case. You just ain't found the right patch yet. All these people, I, do, I heard so many people sit around and say, I'm going to become an artist when I, get, when I grow older. I'm going to become a judge. I'm going to become a lawyer. I'm going to become a police officer, firefighter, I'm going to go join the military, I'm going to do whatever the case may be, I'm going to become an actor, I'm going to become a YouTuber, they say all that, and then guess what, their dreams burn, because so many L's that they've taken, so many L's they've taken that have been discouraged, they get so discouraged from all the L's that they've taken, and it's crazy, their dreams burn in the middle of building them up. That wind came blowing hard and blew their whole castle down in the middle of the construction. And instead of figuring out a better way to stabilize the foundation of the castle, they said, okay, bet. I'm going to go home then. I ain't going to build this castle because this castle ain't going to work. No. The reason why it blew is because you built your castle upon sand. That's why your castle fell. The ground shifted and the foundation uh, uh, the foundation broke apart. Really, the L is supposed to make you stronger, not a failure. That's 100% facts and not opinion. Uh, you built, But you built your castle upon sand, so when the sand shifted, your foundation shifted with it. And with that being said, when the wind blew, it knocked everything down. You got to build your castle upon the rock. Because when the ground shakes, that rock ain't going to shake. Therefore, your foundation ain't going to shift. So when the wind blows, your castle will stand strong. A lot of people don't get that. They want to build it where the softest ground is. That ain't going to work. You got to build it on the hard ground. You got to suffer. You have to sacrifice. If you can't do that, there's no point. There's no point if you can't do that. So yeah, man, don't don't go home after you take an L. Uh, go home and figure out what you got to do and come back stronger. Don't just go home and give up. Go home and figure it out. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get up on out of here, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mommies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else that y'all know, and I'll be right back. <coughs> uh, we're going we gonna to disregard the voice crack, but we're going to be right back with the last episode of the night in just a minute. Deuces. <laughs>